Hello parents. Welcome and thank you for being a part of Lead School at Home. One of the reasons to start Lead School at Home was to keep students engaged during these testing times and ensure that the learning continues. In this session, I will cover three things with you. First, I will share with you information about the online class. Then, I will share with you how you will teach your child through the online class. And finally, I'll take you through our pre-primary curriculum. So let's get started with the first thing that we will cover today. The online class has been created for the parents so that they can help their child learn at home. Going forward, the class links will be shared with you from Monday to Friday every week. In the online class, a preschool teacher will show you how you will leave the learning for your child at home. She will show you how you will be conducting different activities to teach various concepts to your child, how you will read stories with them and how you give them simple instructions to answer the worksheets at home. In addition to this class, we will send two song links every day. Please play the song links during the day and encourage your child to sing and dance along with the song. Now let's see how you will teach your child through the medium of online class. First, every day you will receive an online class link from our site. Please ensure that you spend some time during the day to attend the online class. Listen to the instructions given by the preschool teacher carefully. She may request you to create simple flashcards or arrange for simple household materials like spoon, vegetables or fruits to conduct the activities. Second, keep the materials ready before you conduct the activities with your child. Third, give simple instructions to your child and demonstrate the activity if required. Fourth, small children take some time to understand the instructions and how the activity needs to be done. So have patience and appreciate their efforts. Also, if they struggle to understand something, then explain or demonstrate the activity again. And now let's go with the third thing. That's our pre-primary curriculum. In our online class, we will cover three main parts of our curriculum. English math and theme now let's understand each of these in detail at lead we teach the english language through phonics this means focusing on letter sounds and how to connect different sounds to read words let me show you why imagine you are a three-year-old child what do these things you see mean remember you are a three-year-old child. Did you say C-T-N-A-P-E-L? Right? What does C-T-N-A mean? Does a three-year-old child know what this means? No. Now what's this? Correct. It's an apple. Do we all know what apple means? Yes. It is something that we eat. Now what's this? Correct. It's a cat. We all know what cat means, right? It's an animal that we see. So for a young child, CTNA letter mean nothing. Letters are abstract. They don't understand what this is. But when we show them a picture with word, then the word means something to them. Like here, if you see, what do we call this? Yes, A. And what do we call this? Yes, apple. Now, you just said A and now you read apple. This is wrong. It should be able, right? But it's not the case. This means that the letter name and the letter sound is different. 
Let's try for this one. What do we call this? C. But what do we call this? Cat. We don't say sat. We say cat. Children also face the same confusion. As the letter names and the letter sounds are different in English. So instead of understanding the language, they start memorizing A for apple, B for ball, C for cat. And then when any other word comes from A, then they don't know how to read as the sound changes when the alphabet is used in a word. That is why we don't teach A, B, C, D. Instead, we teach them letter sounds A, B, K, T. This helps students become independent readers and writers eventually. Every day, we will teach phonics to your child. You might find us teaching K sound first, then moving to M, then A, and then T. Because we want students to learn letter sound and connect them to form words. K, M, A, T make lots of words in English like cat, mat, etc. While A, B, C don't make any words in that order. This is how the teacher in your child's school will teach if they have taken the full lead solution. Hence, we request you to please follow the guidance of the lead school at home teacher. And don't worry, your child will learn all the letter sounds as the year progresses. Apart from phonics, we will also teach them new words and its meaning by showing lots of pictures. We will teach them how to read English books and we will teach them how to write too. Now let's understand how writing happens at LEAD a little better. At LEAD, writing is taught as per fine motor readiness of the child. Fine motor means how your child's finger coordinate with their eyes. In nursery, students normally tend to use their fist grip. They can easily form circles but forming standing and sleeping lines are difficult for them. So, we should not make nursery children write alphabets with a pencil. They won't be able to write and it's bad for their little fingers. In JKG, students can start making standing and sleeping lines and slowly start writing alphabets first with thick crayons and then slowly with pencil. In SKG, students are able to write with a pencil, but we should not worry too much about their handwriting. The online class teacher will slowly guide your child on how to write. We request you to please follow her instructions and not force your child to write alphabets with a pencil. Just to remind you, it's not good for their tiny fingers. Writing includes understanding letter formation using clay, paint and colors to make lines and shapes. And some formal alphabet writing for JKG students and slowly teaching three to four word sentence writing in SKG. Writing sometimes also includes asking students to draw on a topic and share their emotions, feelings and thoughts through words and pictures. Now let's move to math. How did you learn math in school? What does this mean? 1, 3, 5, 6, these are all numbers. Actually, these are just symbols. When we associate numbers to their quantities, they give meaning to these symbols. We follow a concrete pictorial abstract approach to teach math skills. This means that first we conduct different activities to teach 
children numbers number quantity association sorting and matching colors and shapes with real items not with pen and paper then we show them pictures to learn the same thing finally only when they are in skg we get them to do abstract math with only digits now let's move to theme theme in theme we cover ebs topics with the child it is important for them to learn ebs concepts like knowing themselves their community their planet food and water at this age this will help them connect with the world around them at lead we follow known to unknown and self to world approach for teaching these ebs topics in known to unknown approach we start with what the child knows already like their name their family members we start with that and we slowly and gradually take them through different activities to develop familiarity with the world around them like their neighborhood community people in the community animals around them and different food items and their sources there are certain abs theme topics we cover for each class like in nursery and jkg it starts from falling in love with school to me and myself and goes on knowing about animals and food for skg the theme topics are different every day the online teacher will show you different activities which you can do at home to help your child develop familiarity with these things around them this will help them in developing long term memory related to these topics which will help them in higher classes with this we have covered all the three points as we have mentioned before attending these classes are very important and essential for a parent in this testing time as a parent you need to ensure that your child doesn't have any learning gaps as this will impact their performance in long term so we request you to attend every class and conduct activities with your child during the day to summarize please ensure that you do the following things attend the online class and conduct the same activities and worksheets after the class during the day give simple instructions to your child while conducting these activities or while they solve the worksheets you can refer to the online class teacher instructions if needed play the song links during the day on mobile or laptop and help your child learn the songs by making them sing and dance with it so i hope you are ready for attending the online class thank you and happy learning